Thanks, Cat. A Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Eleanor Rose. Artwork provided by Moqui Arts on Instagram. You can find a link to their social media in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section to help the YouTube algorithm and to help the channel grow. Now then, thanks, Cat. Oh, dear. What to do? Tell her parents? Call Alia? Marinette knew no one but the fire department could help her now. She dropped her phone out the window trying to take a photo and ended up stuck in the frame because of how it was angled. And she'd taken her ladybug earrings out when she was taking a bath and wanted to wash her hair. So it looked like she was out of options besides the damsel in distress call she'd give the passerbys below. Great. Okay. Embarrassment City, here we come. You know, I've heard of princesses stuck in towers, but I've never seen one leaning out their window like this. Her heart perked up as her mind groaned. Hello, Cat Noir. Hey, Marinette. Need some help? I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks. If there was anyone she didn't want help from, it was Cat, because... Can't you just ladybug yourself out of this? he asked, leaning on the baton that propped him at eye level. I took my earrings out when I took a bath. Besides, someone would see. Ah, so no ladybug to the rescue, then. Got it. Are you going to keep blabbering or call the fire department? My lady, surely I could be of service. She sighed through her teeth. Okay, cat. What do you propose we do? Pull me out? Judging by this window? No. You'll only get stuck farther forward. We'll have to take out the frame. Oh, no. This reminded her a little too much of a recent 911 episode Alia had her watch to help with their English studies. Please tell me you can. Actually, hold on, he said wriggling something above her. All at once, the pressure on her ribcage lifted, just like her balancing point. As her center of gravity shifted, so did Marinette, but before she could so much as squeal, she found herself in Cat Noir's arms. I... I... she began, not feeling anything beneath her legs. Hey, hey, Cat said softly, pressing her body against his. You're okay, partner. I've got you. She knew he meant it. Yeah. She was safe, in his arms as he balanced on a thin metal pole at a height that could incapacitate her. It should worry her, but she knew Kat's capabilities and limitations, so she wasn't. She not only trusted his words, but she trusted his skills. Thank you, Cat Noir she said as they touched the ground. It felt weird to be so formal to him, but a crowd gathered around them with cheers and people who wanted photos and autographs. Anything for a beloved citizen of Paris, he smiled, a twinkle in his eye. That's right. They had to pretend to not know each other, much less that they were dating. He took off and she walked into the bakery. Ears burning as her parents' raised eyebrows asked silent questions. I'll be in my room, she announced, walking past with a red face held high. So, no interrogation from the parents, I take it? Kat asked when she made it to her bedroom. How'd you get in? She asked, walking over to plant a kiss on his cheek. Same way you got stuck. Oh. Well, it was still open, technically. But how did he get his big boy hips and shoulders through when just the upper body got her stuck? So? He asked, a smug look on his face. What are you expecting? A reward? She teased, turning her attention to the laundry pile. 
I never expect one. He walked up behind her and wrapped his arms around her waist. I just think it would be nice, is all. Marinette smiled to herself. Accepting it would be a violation of keeping that mask, don't you think? Even cops accept donuts. She laughed and made her way over. Thanks, Kat. For? For saving me, she sighed, wrapping her arms around him however embarrassing it may have been. How did you get stuck in the first place? Don't ask. Now I want to know even more. His tail flicked in anticipation. I'll tickle you right now if you push it. Please don't. She laughed and looked up, raising her toes to plant a kiss. Thanks, Cat. I mean it. Of course, he murmured resting his head on hers. Any time. Marinette closed her eyes, taking in her boyfriend's scent and thinking about how reliable he was. Yeah. Thanks for everything, Cat. Thank you so much for listening, and another thank you goes out to Mokui Arts for allowing the use of her art in this video. Wow, narrating that was an experience because one of the side effects of corona is like consistent dehydration and my tongue is just like, if you know what I mean. So there's a little ASMR for you. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.